Second row now, yeah, perfect, perfect. You guys, third row, excellent, good, good. Okay, remember, Mrs. Wearsmith would remind you: keep your hands to yourselves. All right, good morning. Hey, should we turn on the lights? Okay, let's turn on the lights. Yeah, that one doesn't do much. Never does. That helps a little. There we go. That helps a whole bunch. All right. Let's see, who's here today? Who's here? Adeline? Adeline, are you? Ah, there, there you are, good. Alan, Alan, A Alan, I see you. Austin, 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 good. Avery, Avery, uh, Avery, wonderful. Braxton, Braxton, there you are, good, good. Cade, ah, gotcha, Cade. Cadence, 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 oh, no. there, gotcha, all right. Cora, 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 well done, good, good, good. Cordelia, gotcha, all right. Denon, 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 gotcha, okay, good. Dylan, Dylan, D D gotcha, all right. Easton, right there, wonderful. Eleanor, yep, gotcha. Eliana, ha, right there, good. Louie, all right, I will learn to pronounce your name, I really will. Emily. Emily, they got you. Okay, good. Ezra, mm-hmm. All right. Harper E, yes. All right. Harper H, yeah. All right. Hope, hope. There you are. Good. Okay. Jackson, mm-hmm. Joey, right there. Good, good. Kennedy, Ken Kennedy. All right. Leah, uh-huh. Leah, all right. Liam, there you are. All right. Luca, yep, you betcha. Macy, yes, Macy. Okay, Mason. Mm-hmm, very good. All right, Maya, yep, got Maya. All right, Rosalie, Rosalie, there you are. Good, Zylie, oh, Zylie, good. Mrs. Gamash, well, she'll be watching, I'm sure. Mrs. Wearsma, well, she's not here, but she will be watching, I bet. Parents, are there any parents out there? Raise your hand and say, here. Good. All right. And that's what we do with this. When we start, we find out exactly who's here because that's one of the important things that we do here together. It's listen to each other and acknowledge each other and, and just we're here together. So that's why we do that. Any guests today? Any guests right here? All right. Good. Pastor Chris? Pastor Chris? Are, and usually the kids all tell me that I'm here at this point. So Pastor Chris? Good. All right. Well, let's light the candles and let them remind us of what the candles remind us of when we light the candles. Where's the taper? Oh, it was here the whole time. How can that possibly be? You remember, this weird little thing is called the what? Taper. Right. Good. It's amazing what you, what you remember that you don't know what you remember. All right, so the candles. Now, we light the candles every time. We'll talk a little bit more about that. We light the candles every time to help us remember some important things about God. If you remember how this works, all right? First, God is here. Yahweh. Yeah. And we light the second candle to remember that Jesus loves everybody. Both sets. And then we remember that our prayers go up and God's Spirit hears. Amen. Yes. All right. Well, I know. It's a little strange this time having chapel here on TV or on your phone or maybe on your laptop or your computer. It's things are strange out in the world. There's just no doubt about it. But I wanted to have chapel with you guys because 
you know, I just miss having chapel. And it's such a big part of my day, an important part of my week, to be able to be with you all and have chapel together. So we wanted to make it as normal as possible. So we're kind of trying to do chapel the way we regularly do chapel. So I'm glad you're here and listening. So, because I miss you in person, so let's do it this way. And you know, we do pretend a lot in chapel, don't we? So we get to pretend that you're all here in the chapel and that we're all here together. That's kind of fun. All right, so we do this chapel thing where we light the candles. We do that to help us remember some very important things about God and about Jesus and about the Holy Spirit. Have you ever wondered why churches use candles? Sometimes in the old days, that's all the light they had. So instead of being able to turn on the electric lights, they would light candles and so they could see what was going on. But the candles on the altar those are there to remind us of some important things. Because all the time, just about all the time in the Bible, that story of the way God works with God's people and teaches them and lives with them and learning together about who God is and what God is, a lot of time in the Bible, God shows up and reminds God's people that he's there using fire. So if you at home, if you wanted to light a candle, make sure that your parents are lighting a candle with you. Or you could do like Mrs. Wearsma does, because sometimes when we have chapel in the preschool, we light little electric candles. If you have those, you can do that. Or sometimes before Mrs. Wearsma got those electric candles, we'd use blocks. If you had colored blocks, that'd be cool. But three of them, it'd be nice. So you can remember that God is here. Jesus loves everybody. And our prayers go up and God's Spirit hears. Those are important things for us to remember, especially when things in the world around us got kind of a little scary or a little funky or a little weird. It's always good to remember those important parts of how God is with us and loves us and is there. So, our chapel here at Our Saviors has those two sets of three candles. They're called candelabras. I bet you can say candelabras. Can. Yes, I knew you could do that. Wonderful. They help us remember that God shows up for God's people in three big ways almost all the time. God the Father who made us and absolutely everything. God who is Jesus came as a human. Remember when we celebrated Christmas and got all ready for that during Advent and everything and how it was so cool when he was born and all that? Yeah, we can remember that Jesus was born for us and that he died for us too. And God is the Holy Spirit who gives us the strength and the comfort and the help that helps us to remember God all the time. So, this is chapel. Maybe some of you parents have never been in here, so maybe we should look around the chapel just a little bit. We don't want to move the camera too fast so you don't get lost. There's the baptismal font and the banner. Xylee's baptism happened here a few weeks ago. That was really special. And there's old lights from the old church, the old Our Savior's Church is in here. So chapel is this little room, this place that we use, and it's got the benches and the lights and this old-fashioned organ and the old pulpit and all of those things. So chapel is a place. Now sometimes we have chapel in the preschool. Every once in a great, great while, we'll even have chapel in the big church. So chapel is a place. But it's also, it's also, it's also a time. Usually, during when preschool is in session, we have chapel what? On Wednesdays at 9.30, and then at Thursdays at 9.30 too. And some of you have been to both of those every week, and some of you would only go to one. It kind of depended if you were here or not here. But so, that was that time. Chapel time. Probably got ready for it. Mrs. Wearsma would line you up and Mrs. Gamash would help and you'd get in the line and you'd come and you'd start singing and all of that. That's the chapel time. That's the time we spend together here. But also, chapel is, is what we do together. And you can do this at home. You can set up a special place in your room or in your house or you could use a spot that you use for something else dining room table or the kitchen table or maybe some place where the television is or the computer is. So you can have this chapel time in a special place at your house. But chapels is also what we do together. So 
Chapel is when we get together and we listen to each other. Remember how Mrs. Wearsma sometimes has to remind you, now you pay attention because I'm going to ask you questions about what Pastor Chris said. Remember how she did that? Well, maybe you parents can do that with your kids too. Go pay attention so because we'll talk about it when we're all done. That'd be kind of fun, don't you think? Anyway, so we get together and we pay attention to each other and we listen to each other and we light the candles. We already talked about that. And we're learning about God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and all of that together. And we sing a song about God or Jesus or the Holy Spirit or all of that together. And we pray. And then we put out the candles. We'll see that in a minute. And then we remind each other that Jesus loves everybody again. And we'll do that just before we close, just like we always do. So I hope that you can join us for Online Chapel every week. We've got a bunch of fun things planned because it's almost Easter. So we're going to have some fun with that the next couple of weeks too, getting ready for that. So let's pray. And remember that we pray. It's a repeat after me kind of prayer. And it helps if you fold your hands so they're not doing something else. And if you can close your eyes so they're not getting wandery and doing something else. And it's easier to concentrate and think. And then repeat after me. Thank you, God, for this time together. Help us to remember the important things, that you love us, that you're here, and that you're listening. Help us to remember, in Jesus' name, amen. And I like to do that at the end. And most of the kids, you do that too. Right? And when we go in Jesus' name, we kind of open our eyes and our hands go to our hearts. And then, Amen. And remember, Amen means yes. Let it be. That's, I agree. That's a good thing. I, I, I almost understand that. So that's why we say, Amen. Now, one of the songs that we sing, and we'll, next week we'll sing other songs, but at this point we're going to sing the song that helps us to remember what's going on with the candles. We've been doing that just about every time when we put the candles out. A little song. We use the taper and we sing. God is here. God is here. We always can remember that God is here. Yeah. Jesus loves, Jesus loves, we always can remember that Jesus loves everybody. And our prayers, our prayers go up, our prayers go up, we always can remember that our prayers go up. And God's Spirit hears. Amen. Well, I hope this week and every day you remember that Jesus loves you and 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 so do I. Have a wonderful, fantastic, amazing, and really great day and really great week. See you next time.